Here are 50 facts about Rotterdam. Rotterdam has the tallest buildings of the Netherlands, with the Maastoren as number one with a length of 165 meters. It will soon be replaced by another giant in Rotterdam that is being built, which will be 215 meters high. Rotterdam is the first Western European city to have a Muslim mayor from Moroccan descent. His name is Ahmed Abu Talib. It has the highest tower for public visit, that is the Euromast with 185 meters high. You can also book a room and sleep on the top of it. It was the biggest harbor of the world until 2004 and still is the largest in Europe and a very important logistical point. It's a multicultural city with over 170 nationalities. The famous theologian Desiderius Erasmus was born in Rotterdam and thus a lot of things were named after him, such as the university, the famous Erasmus Bridge and the hospital. From Amsterdam you can take the train to Rotterdam Central in just 40 minutes. From Rotterdam you can take the train to Paris in just 2 hours and 40 minutes. Rotterdam has its own dish, this is called the Cap Salon, a treat of french fries with kebab, cheese and a salad topping on it. Quite a lot of calories though. Rotterdam has an own airport that goes by the name of Rotterdam de Haag Airport. It has three major football clubs that play on the highest level. They are Feyenoord, Sparta and Excelsior. Rotterdam has the most popular football stadium in the Netherlands, the Feyenoord Stadium, that goes by the name De Kuip. The Netherlands' most famous boxer was from Rotterdam. His name was Beb van Klaveren. He won Olympic gold in 1928. He earned himself the name of the Dutch windmill. The top three most visited attractions in Rotterdam are the Blijdorp Zoo, the Euromast and the Speedo Boat Tours. The most popular museums are Boymans van Beuningen Museum, Arthal Rotterdam and the Maritime Museum. In 2019 you will be able to visit the world's first open art depot, which is going to be quite a remarkable landmark also. Rotterdam has been making headlines with its Market Hall, which also contains one of the biggest paintings in the world on its walls and ceiling. Rotterdam used to be the main travel point from where millions of people migrated to the new discovered America from 1872. In 2017, researchers from Rotterdam Erasmus Medical Center discovered something that can make our cells young again. Right now it is only tested successfully on animals, but it will also be tested on humans soon. You will probably hear more about it. Rotterdam is the biggest street festival of Europe every year that goes by the name of Rotterdam Unlimited. There is a carnival parade and concerts and music on all sides of the city center. The name Rotterdam comes from the river that was called Rotte and was named after the dam that was placed there. The original place can be found at the big market square at the market hall. The name Rotterdam was first used in the 13th century. Rotterdam counts almost 650,000 inhabitants. The area of Rotterdam reaches all the way to the beach of Hoek van Holland in the west and to Hoogvliet in the south at the Oude Maas River. Rotterdam was home of the politician Pim Fortuyn that was murdered in 2002. His statue stands in the Korte Hoogstraat. The square is also named after him. The main streets, such as the Kool Single, used to have canals in the past. Rotterdam has a monumental building that is called the White House. It was the tallest building once and considered one of the first skyscrapers. The impressive Laurens Church in the city center is also the oldest building of Rotterdam. Which is not so strange since cities used to develop around churches. It dates all the way back to 1449. The Rotterdam region has its own typical accent with its own way of talking. People from other parts of the Netherlands will usually recognize it if someone is from there. The Lijnbaan, which is still a popular shopping street, was once the first car-free shopping street in Europe. In the 90s, an entire new youth subculture developed in Rotterdam, with typical clothing, dancing and hardcore house music as central theme. They were called Gabbers or Gabbers. One of the biggest screens in the world can be found in the Rotterdam Central Station. In 2010, the start of the famous cycling tournament, the Tour de France, took place in Rotterdam. In 2017, it was considered to be the number 5 most guest-friendly city in the world according to research done by the online travel agency Travelbird. During World War II, Rotterdam was bombed heavily by the Germans. The city center had to be rebuilt in its entirety. Rotterdam is mostly below sea level, with the lowest part being 6 meters below sea level. 
It has the biggest roof park of Europe in the district of Delfshaven. It is a large oasis of green in the middle of a former industrial area. You can take the hybrid splash bus that gives city tours both on the ground and also into the river. At the Maas Boulevard you can check all flags of the world displayed. A famous hotspot is the Hotel New York, the landmark on the Wilhelmina Pier from where millions of Europeans left the continent to find a new future in the United States. During its young years in the 16th century, the people of Rotterdam lived off of herring fishing, weaving bedsheets and brewing beer. Rotterdam once had a famous giant, called the Giant of Rotterdam. His name was Richardus Reinhout, and he lived from 1922 till 1959. He was 2 meters 38. There is a real size statue of him in the local park in the Old West neighborhood. Rotterdam has a lot of cool urban street art and some interesting statues. Check out these ones. This is the fountain of Hofplein. When Feyenoord wins, when Feyenoord wins an important title, people unite here and go into the water. Outside of the city center you can relax at Kralinge Lake, 100 hectare of water with a large park surrounding it, including some nice windmills. Rotterdam is a relatively poor area, compared to the rest of the rich Netherlands, with an average capital of just around 2000 euros. There is a total of 46,670 companies registered in Rotterdam. The SS Rotterdam is a luxurious retired cruise ship, where you can dine and also stay a night in one of the cabins, that serve as hotel rooms. In 2001, Rotterdam was the cultural capital city of Europe. Part of the weapon of Rotterdam is the motto Sterker door strijd, which means stronger through fighting. Rotterdam had the first metro line in the Netherlands since 1968. Rotterdam is a bicycle friendly city with 600 kilometers of special bike lanes and every day all the people in Rotterdam cycle a distance together of 1.2 million kilometers. These were the 50 facts about Rotterdam, I hope you enjoyed them and see you in the next video.